everybody that started the business have a story behind it why and what and who the business is for hi hello welcome back to the channel this is Matilia. a few days ago i was actually looking for stuff that i bought in the past you know like you always do on amazon and i scroll down to some of the things that i have bought i wanted to reorder so checking on those pages i found out that those stores are no longer on amazon and that keep me guessing that what could have happened did they close down like i did or does they mean that they are low in inventory to be honest competition is one thing that's killing retailers on amazon and you can go and then price you know that is a killer for a business first let's talk about business and what it means when you're doing business so starting a business doesn't mean that the one business you start is the business you're going to do for the rest of your life forever so for me i started an air business in my 20s and that air business i continue again but that business i'm no longer into it because you know what i am changing something to something and also this is where it gets even more interesting because you know those business that are no longer on amazon just like mine this, their storefront might be there but they don't have inventory in there is because of the analysis they did not do or maybe you know their resource you know there's tons of reasons why this could happen and but one reason that i'm telling you if you want to start a business is to do your research and do know that you need resource enough resources because if people are telling you you don't need capital to start a business I'm so sorry to tell you that you do need a capital even when i was starting it was huge capital now it might not be that huge because you know you have online resources you can do shopify you know drop shipping you know you, those you have different options to do what you can do online for instance if you have something to offer it doesn't have to be something sales like online retail sales but it could also be coaching you know all you need is just to market yourself how about that so that way you just need few amount of money to start your domain website to put some things on website to launch a book you know write a book you know just simple things to start that on this video about business and what step you need to take steps you need to know what kind of business you want to take want to go into i'm going to talk about that two you need to register your business because registering your business you can also go through the uh, getting an EIN, LLC, there are options for that and also know what, who and why you are getting into the business because business like I've said is not, does not determine what you're doing right now, it is a long term goal. So yes, so once you do the registration and you do all that and then you want to know your resource, where you can get the money from and where you're going to get your supply from, you know, these are crucial because money make the world go around if that's the case <laughs> you know so yeah you want to know that also and also when you have your money your resource everything is in place your marketing strategy you have to analyze that crucially because that if you don't have it like i don't your business is going to suffer that's uh, my that's why my business suffered because i wasn't into marketing online i was just like an interpersonal person so yeah so that is what i'm going to be doing different all of this thing i mentioned i'm going to be doubling and doing them differently so if i'm going to be having a store now it's not going to be on this competitive or over 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 rated um um storefront like amazon ebay i'm going to start with my own website or my store on shopify or whatever because that would give me more edge and then give me more flow on like doing my own marketing myself so that is one of the things i'm getting up to and looking up to and i'm definitely going to start something soon in business what i know now that i don't know back then is i should have focused more on my own store which is the shopify website that i have so these are my own take on this if you want to continue business you are starting business or you have been in business and you're struggling you just have to go back to the round table like i am doing right now and then be patient like i mentioned in my last video also so everything is patient and then you have to know what you are capable of it's all about mindset you know so yeah that is it for today's video um about my just take on 
why I think some business are failing and why mine also fail and why I think it's all about balancing and going back into the door onto the draw table to see what you have to offer so thank you for watching if you have not subscribed like i always said please subscribe to my channel click that notification bell and give this video a like because that's going to help your algorithm and suggest my video so with that i will see you on my next upload thanks for watching Bye. -bye.